My name is Austin Angel. I'm a professor in the uh, Arizona State University School of Molecular Sciences. And I'm here to talk about uh, why there's something interesting about a paper of ours which is being published in uh, Science Advances and also being uh, storied uh, in uh, Physics World uh, shortly. And uh, it's a little difficult to do because the title of the paper, Breakdown of Stokes-Einstein Relation in Phase Change Materials, is uh, a little bit forbidding. Uh, I have to uh, explain what the bits of that title are about and why people seem to be interested in this uh, subject. Yeah. So, firstly, the Stokes-Einstein equation, uh, which was very reasonable when it was derived by Einstein for in his thesis for uh, the description of movement of particles in colloids, uh, is found, to everyone's surprise, to apply very well to the behavior of simple molecular liquids. What does it say? It says that the, viscos the diffusion of, of molecules in a, a, a medium, originally a suspension, is um, governed by the viscosity in an inverse relationship, uh, which includes the uh, radius of the particles which are diffusing, and the temperature. Uh, it's uh, such that the product of viscosity times temperature uh, and divided by the diffusion coefficient should be a constant as temperature is changed. And this works very well for many, many simple liquids and uh, uh, and indeed colloids, but there's a small group of uh, liquids for which it doesn't seem to apply, or at least it breaks down in the sense that the constancy is lost uh, even while the viscosity is very low. Instead, in all liquids it actually will break down if you go to high enough viscosities, but in this select group, it breaks down at much higher temperatures, temperatures above the melting point. And uh, there has to be a special reason for this. In the case of um, the outstanding example of water, we have a pretty good idea of why it is. It's connected to a very strange phenomenon in water called a liquid-liquid phase change, which uh, theories and some simulations show uh, should occur uh, below the melting point by about uh, 20%. And uh, it is also suggested for a water-like material, uh, liquid silicon, also tetrahedrally coordinated, as we understand water to be, um, in which we depend more on simulation data. But again, the uh, unusual feature of the Stokes-Einstein equation breaking down in the sense of losing this proportionality occurs above the melting point. And now, what is uh, the purpose of this uh, paper which is coming out is to tell us that there's another case, unexpected, in which the same occurs, the breakdown of the Stokes-Einstein equation above the melting points. And uh, what's challenging about this is uh, the, the possibility that it's breaking down for the same reason as it breaks down in these other two better known cases. So what? is the new uh, material that in which this occurs. And but its interest content? Well, the interest content is that these uh, liquid PCMs, as we call them, which are uh, alloys of three elements in the um, far right-hand corner of the phase di of the uh, periodic table, are uh, tellurium, uh, antimony, and germanium, germanium being very like silicon in its behavior. And they, it turns out that these can be used in uh, the technology of fast computing uh, to increase the speed of memory devices, read-write memory devices, by a factor of a thousand over the rival technologies. And this can be made a uh, a, a, a tremendous advantage and is being taken advantage of by uh, IBM and Samsung at the moment in some of their most advanced computing machines. And uh, the, the fact that we find in this uh, 
and I should say, when I, when I say we, I should emphasize that this is uh, an asset uh, in the School of Molecular Sciences in the USA, but also co-workers, colleagues from Germany uh, working at one of the neutron scattering centers in, uh, in Garching, uh, Germany, have found that in these PCM materials, also above the melting point, the Stokes-Einstein breaks down. And the, the point of, f to be excited about is the possibility that it's breaking down for the same reason as in water and in silicon, where we believe there is this submerged uh, phase change um, causing unusual fluctuations, which not only lead to the breakdown of the Stokes-Einstein equation, but lead to extremely fast crystallization of the material, which is the essence of uh, the fast uh, switching times.